What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be taking a look at the IBM Data Analyst Professional Certificate on Coursera. Now, this course is one that I get asked about a lot. Is it worth taking? How much does it cost? Is it something that will help me land an entry-level job? And should I be putting this certificate on my resume? All of these questions will be answered throughout the video and let's not waste any more time. Let's jump over to my screen and start looking at the course. So this is what the course will look like on your screen. And if you notice at the very top, I was able to beg and plead and get 25% off your first month's purchase. Uh, it only lasts until 2.15 of 2021. So as of today, when this is airing, it'll last for about two and a half more weeks. Uh, so if you want to redeem that, there is a link in the description. I tried to get it for free. Uh, but apparently that's uh, not good business. So, you know, I did what I could. So I hope that, uh, you know, if you really wanted to take this, you can take it and get a little bit of a discount. And, you know, that's just me trying to help you guys out. Within this professional certificate, there are actually eight courses. And so I'm going to run through those very quickly. And then afterwards, I'm going to go into a few of these courses and show you how you actually learn within them. The first course is Introduction to Data Analytics. And that's just going to give you a high level overview of what a data analyst does and some of the tools that they use. The second course is Excel Basics for Data Analysis. The next course is Data Visualization and Dashboards with Excel and Cognos. The next course is Python for Data Science and AI. Next course is Databases and SQL for Data Science. The next one is Data Analysis with Python. The next one is Data Visualization with Python. And then the very last one is IBM Data Analyst Capstone Project. I'm going to take us back up to the second course, which is the Excel Basics for Data Analysis. We're going to open this course up and see some of the things that you learn as well as how they structure the learning within this course. So when you come to this page, it's its own individual course. So now we can click go to course and it's going to take us to the actual work. So when you open up your course, this is what you will see. And so you have weeks one through five. That's all the work that we will be doing to finish this course. Then we have our grades, notes and discussion forums. And then there's messages and course info, which you probably really won't use. So if we scroll down, we can actually see what we're going to be doing within each week. This very first week, we're going to be doing introduction to data analysis using spreadsheets. And right here is going to show us how we're actually going to be learning this topic. Uh, the first 26 minutes is videos. There's 10 minutes of reading, 10 minutes of practice exercises and 50 minutes of other. At the very end, you also have a quiz. So let's pull up this quiz really quick and see kind of what a quiz looks like. So we do need to make a 70% or higher to pass this quiz uh, and you get three attempts every eight hours. So it's basically unlimited attempts. So let's look at what this quiz looks like. Uh, it looks like it's only three questions um, and I'm sure that these questions are related to some of the readings or videos that were earlier on when we actually were doing the studying. And then at the end, you have to sign that you weren't cheating and then you can submit your work. And that's basically how each week is gonna work. You're going to go through the videos, you're going to go through the reading or anything else that they have and at the very end, take the quizzes. And if you pass the quizzes, you move on to the next week. Now, at the very end of each course, you have a peer graded assignment and a peer graded assignment is exactly what it sounds like. They're going to give you an assignment. They're going to give you specific instructions. You're going to do that assignment and submit it. And a peer, someone else who is taking the course is going to grade your work. So this is what it looks like when I open up the assignment and it's actually part one of two. And so this first one is cleaning and preparing the data. The second one is actually analyzing the data. So in this first one, it looks like right here, I need to download this data set. And then down here, it gives me very specific instructions on what I need to do with the data set that I download. In part two of this assignment, it really just looks like we are using uh, pivot tables. And so it gives you, again, very specific instructions on how to create these pivot tables and what you're looking for. I've actually submitted this assignment for peer review. And I did this because I wanted to kind of test and see if people actually took this peer review seriously. So I submitted basically blank documents. I'm going to show them right now. This is what the first Excel that I submitted had. And this is what the other Excel had. And in my review, I basically got three out of 28 points and failed miserably. And I felt a lot more comfortable that people were actually taking the time to look through your work and make sure that you had done what you were supposed to do. Now, there are lots of courses that we could go more in depth into, like databases and SQL for data science, as well as data analysis with Python. But I feel like you can kind of get a general sense of what you're going to learn in those courses. I want to go to one that I think a lot of people have questions on, which is the Capstone Project at the very end. The Capstone Project has six weeks total. 
going through data collection, data wrangling, exploratory data analysis, data visualization, building a dashboard, and then you have your final assignment. Now, all those weeks leading up to five and six are not actually your capstone project. They're mostly just quizzes to make sure that you know the information. And then five and six are the actual project itself. And for the actual capstone project, I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger, involving a little bit more Python and SQL and creating dashboards. But really all you're gonna be doing is building a dashboard and then creating a PowerPoint presentation. And that's really it. And so if you were worried that this capstone project was gonna to be too difficult for you, I assure you that you can handle it. There are a lot of really good courses in this professional certificate, and I feel like they hit a lot of the big skills that you need to know, like SQL, Python, and Excel. I don't think any of these courses go super advanced. And so if you are just a beginner and you want to learn and start understanding a lot of these skills, this is a really good course or professional certificate to start out with. Now, how much does this cost? The cost is $40 per month. And so however long it takes you to complete this professional certificate is how much it's going to cost. So if it takes you five months, that's about $200. Now, speaking for myself and myself only, I have been known to just fly through courses. I do all the reading, all the videos, and just do hours and hours on end to complete these as fast as I possibly can so that I save money. And so I think that if you really focus, you could probably complete this in two months, especially if you have a lot of time on your hands. Do I think that this professional certificate is worth getting? Yes, I do. I think it hits on a lot of the really good topics and skills that a lot of data analysts need to know. And I do think that you can add this to your resume specifically for people who are trying to get internships or right out of college or people who are trying to change careers to get a job in data analytics. I think that this is something that I would add to my resume. This type of professional certificate is a good way to show that you are investing your time into learning the skills required to become a data analyst. So I do think that if you don't have any experience that certifications and certificates are a good thing to put on your resume. I do hope that this was a good overview and that it helped you decide whether you wanted to take it or not. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want to support this channel, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.